Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the door closing cam kit on your refrigerator. It's a pretty easy job. You're going to need a few tools, a quarter inch and a 5 16 nut driver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill with a 3 16 bit, and a 10 30 second tap. Let me show you how it's done. Before we begin this repair, the first thing we need to do is disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator and turn off the water supply. We'll want to empty all the bins on both the fresh food and freezer doors and remove the bins. So we're going to take the doors completely off to do this repair. Once that's been done, we simply need to remove the hinge cover on the top. And the fresh food side is just a friction fit. That exposes three 5 16 screws that hold the hinge in place. We'll remove those. Now, before we remove the fresh food door, if you have a suitable surface to work on, kitchen table will be fine. Just put some kind of protective covering on it so that we don't damage it. Lift the hinge out of the door. Open the door slightly. Lift up to remove it from the bottom hinge. That will expose the cam kit on the bottom so we can do our repair. Now that we have the door on a suitable work surface, we can remove the upper cam be a quarter inch hex head screw holding that in place. We can remove the old cam and shim. Discard them. Now if your refrigerator had a quarter inch hex head self-tapping screw, chances are you're going to have to enlarge this hole tap it for the screw that comes with the kit has got a little shoulder on it that fits snugly into the upper cam to hold it in place. So we'll need to drill that out and tap it for a 10 30 second screw. Drill the hole to the proper size. Take our 10 30 seconds tap, tap a new thread. And we're ready to install the new upper cam and shim. Proper shoulder screw. Loosen off the door stop enough to allow the cam to sit underneath of it. Make sure the cam sits snugly around the shoulder of the screw. We'll tighten the screw up, make sure the hole is lined up for the hinge pin. We'll Retighten the door stop. Now we're ready to replace the lower door cam. To replace the bottom cam, we simply need to remove this quarter inch hex head screw. Lift the old cam off of the pin. Slide the new cam over it. Line up the screw hole. And replace it with supplied with the kit. Now that we've replaced both cams, we're ready to reinstall the door. Simply line up the hole in the bottom of the door with the lower door pin.
rotate the door into place. Now we're ready to put on the top hinge. Make sure the gasket is in place. We'll just start three by sixteenths hex head screws by hand. snug these up until we've lined the door up properly. I just want to make sure that the door is level with the cabinet on both side and the top. And if there's equal distance in the gasket at the top and the bottom. One screw and recheck. And tighten the remaining two screws. Now we're ready to replace the hinge cover. It just snaps into place. And the fresh fruit door is done. Once we've removed the kick plate to gain access to the water line, find a union here that feeds water through to the door. Disengage the tubing from the retaining clip. Be careful not to kink it. And we'll disconnect this union. There's probably going to be some water in here. Pull the tubing out. Slide the nut off the end of the tubing. Now we're ready to take the harness off the top of the door. Now that we've removed the water line, we're ready to take the upper hinge cover off. It's held in place with a Phillips screw. Lift the hinge cover off. That'll expose the wire harness. Disconnect the wire harness, and there should be a separate green ground wire. It's fastened in place with a quarter inch hex head screw. You remove that. Ready to remove the hinge, held in place with three 5 16 machine screws. For the freezer door, the hinge will go with the door when we remove the door. Now that we have the upper hinge removed, we're ready to lift the door off. If you have somebody to help you feed the water line up through the lower hinge, just in case it kinks, you may want to remove the spring covering on that tubing. It's basically there to keep the tubing from kinking, but it won't fit up through the hinge easily. So you can remove that and lift the door slowly up. Now we're ready to put the door on a flat surface to work on. Take care not to set the door down on the hinge end, or you'll bend that tubing. With the door mounted on a suitable work surface, now we're ready to loosen the two screws that hold the door stop in place, just to make things a little bit easier. And we'll remove the one quarter inch hex head screw, holds the lower cam in place. 
And again, this is a self-tapping screw that we're going to replace with a 10 30 seconds machine screw, which means we will have to drill that hole and tap it. Remove the old cam and spacer shim. Drill out the existing hole. Tap it for a 10 30 second screw. Make sure we keep it straight. Take our new cam and the shim washer and our new 10 30 second screw. Make sure the screw stays straight. Engage this recess in the cam so if there's no movement. Center the cam up over the hole for the hinge. And we'll retighten the two screws that hold the door stop in place. Now we're ready to remount the door. The lower cam on the freezer door section is essentially the same as the lower cam on the refrigerator door section. Simply a matter of taking a quarter inch hex head screw out of the hinge pipe. Lift the cam off of the hinge. Slide the new one in place. Line up the screw hole. Replace the screw with the one supplied with the kit. Tighten it in place. Now we're ready to set the door back onto the hinges. Now that we have both cams installed, we're ready to put the door back on. We need to slide the water line down through the hinge, taking extra care that we don't kink that. It really helps if you have a second person to assist you with that. Carefully, so it doesn't kink, line the hinge pin up, set the door down in place, let the gasket hold it steady until we're ready to put the top hinge on. Put the door back in place, we're now ready to reconnect the water line. So slide the knot back onto the tubing, push the tubing all the way into the union. Tighten the nut, making sure that we don't cross thread it. Clip it back into the retaining clip. Put the door back in place. Slide the hinge over to line it up. Again, we'll start the screws by hand so that we don't cross thread them. Take the screws yet until we line the door up. Make sure that it's square with the cabinet on the side and across the top, and we have an even gap between the two doors. Firmly tighten three screws. Reconnect the harness. Connect the two ground wires to the hinge. Replace the hinge cover and the Phillips screw that holds it in place. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks at the union on the bottom. If everything's fine there, we'll put the kick plate back in place and our job is complete. That's just how easy it was to change the door cam closing kit on your refrigerator. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.